Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video. Well, not really. It's going to be a fashion file unbagging video with the largest bag they could find to put in a pretty darn small bag inside. And so we're going to check that out just in a minute, but I wanted to show you this top that I just got from a boutique and they do have an online presence. It's called Blush Boutique. And I just thought it was so cute with my new Valentino bag. It's got kind of a 70s swirly pattern in it. The lighter colored pink and the swirls just matches this so well. This is the last day she gets to be out for a while. I carried her for two days. And I will say that these studs, they didn't bother me when I had on a thicker shirt, but this shirt is like super thin satin. And I definitely could feel these poking me through the shirt. So that's something to keep in mind if you do pick up one of these Roman stud bags that are stunning and fabulous, but maybe just a bit pokey. So, if you don't mind being poked, then go for it or just wear a thicker top than a satin top. But it does look really cute, I think, with it. So let's see what's in the bag. First, I want to tell you something, though. My collection over the last few months has changed dramatically. And if you look back two months before that, you could say my collection over the last two months has changed dramatically. And then you could look back the two months before that and you could say, I bet you can guess what you can say. So what I am telling you is that my collection is always changing. My handbag collection evolves with time and whatever I happen to be interested in at the moment. A few years back when I turned 40, I'm 45 now, my husband got me my first Louis Vuitton. And prior to that, I had never bought a luxury bag in my life. And he made the mistake of buying me a Louis Vuitton and I got into Louis Vuitton then. And I bought only luxury bags for a few years. And then COVID hit or the thing that shall not be named. And then I started buying contemporary bags because I felt like my priorities were in the wrong place. I felt like, you know, if something happened to his job, then we shouldn't be spending money on frivolous things like high-end luxury handbags. So I sold some of my high-end handbags and bought a whole bunch of Coach and Tory Burch and then Longchamp and Marc Jacobs and I love many of those bags, but I got carried away and I got to where I had over 120 bags and I am proud to tell you that I am down to 90 bags right now. And I think if I counted correctly, that includes the two I have on the way. It'll be actually 91 because today I was supposed to get a coach bag from Bloomingdale's and it was a small shoulder bag in the color. Well, I won't even tell you. You'll get to see it here in a minute, hopefully. Not in a minute, but next week. No, hopefully at the end of this week. I got expedited shipping on the replacement because they sent me a bag from like five years ago when Keith Herring collaborated with Coach and it was like a tote, a never full-size tote or a market tote size tote. I don't even know what kind of tote it was, but it was coach signature with Keith Haring. And I was supposed to get an all leather shoulder bag. So when that one comes and the other two that are in transit, I think I'll have 91 bags total. So I've reduced my total by more than 30. And the way I've done that is I have sold many of my contemporary handbags and then replaced them with luxury handbags. And as you all know, contemporary handbags do not cost as much as luxury handbags. So I might sell three, four, five of those bags to buy one luxury bag. And I'm doing that because right now, at this moment in my life, that makes me happy. I love to shop, I love to find deals, and I just found a new way to find some deals on luxury handbags because of Amy Michelle Luxury. And so I'm just pumped up about that. I had never ever bought from Rebag until 
I met her and now I have bought two items from Rebag, one of which should be here on Saturday, if, if I'm lucky, because I really want it to be here on Saturday, but we'll see. But this bag is from Fashion File, and I haven't ordered from Fashion File in years. I will say the last time I ordered from them, I wasn't super happy because I had ordered a Gucci Marmot from them in the Porcelain Rose color, and I didn't notice that it had a defect along the zipper tape and the zipper head was actually rubbing the leather and flaking it off, flaking the color off. And I discovered that after the 30 days, and then I ended up selling it back to them at a 30% loss, because they'll do that. And it was just really frustrating because, I mean, it was my fault. I didn't examine it close enough in time, but on the other hand, it just bummed me out. So I haven't bought anything from them since then. But I saw this, and after my pink Valentino unboxing, I just couldn't resist, especially because Chase Amy has this bag, and she's like my luxury influencing idol. And I love her because she likes stuff like Tori Burch, too. And I don't know if she likes Coach, but she definitely likes Tori Burch. She likes Abercrombie. She has great style, and she has great taste. And she loves all the pastel muted colors. And that's why I copied her with this bag. So here we go. The grand reveal. Should I do a little drum roll? I can't do a drum roll, so no drum roll for you. But... This is, I want to say it's the size small Valentino Roman stud top handle bag, and I may be getting that name wrong. It probably says it on the tag though, so let's check it out. So it is called the Napa Roman stud small, but I want to say it has even more of a name than that. And we have the tags here. It's the small top handle bag, and the retail is $3,400. But guys, I got this from Fashion File for $2,000 and a little bit of extra dollars, less than $2,100. And I think she is stunning. And I mean, I, I've already looked her over a little bit, so I don't have to examine her super closely. But I thought if I could, without too much difficulty, I would take off the bits on the hardware so we can really appreciate the bag together because it's hard to see what's going on with the bag when it has blue stickers on it. So here we go. We're having a sticker moment here. So the bag had the stickers on it and that was a good sign. It had the tag inside of it. It comes with a strap and this is in the color Niagara Blue. The strap has the Roman studs on it as well. And I think that the strap is hooked up to the Fashion File tag. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and take the stickers off the handles. We're gonna just unsticker her. She's being dethroned. Okay, so we got stickers off of that side. I'm gonna probably speed this up and just cut little bits of this out because you guys don't need to see all of the sticker removal, but got the sticker off that side. She looks so much prettier without all these stickers on. The hardware on these bags is, I think, extremely durable. And the sticker protection is spot on. I mean, we've got some major protecting going on with these stickers. But with the durability of the hardware, I'm not sure that we even needed all this. I got the sticker off that little stud. See how that stud holds the handle? That is freaking adorable. I love it. So this bag was rated in excellent condition. If you look in the back pocket, we have a dust bag from Valentino. And it is actually a pretty big dust bag. And it's different than the other one I got with my other Roman stud bag because it just says Valentino Garavani. Probably saying that wrong. And <clears throat> it actually has a few little dirt spots on it, probably just from being in the bag on a shelf somewhere before it made it to Fashion File. They actually have, 
I believe two additional ones of these that still had either stickers or tags or partial of one or the other. And one of them was a little bit less than I paid. It was less than $2,000 and one of them was a little bit more than I paid, but it may get marked down. The hooks are different than I've ever seen on any other hardware. You can see they're kind of a long skinny hook and they do swivel. So you can hook the strap on like so. And then there is an additional, I found more stickers. Good Lord, we have lots of stickers. I'm not sure I can even get this one off. So this bag is 100% leather lined. It has a slip pocket back here. It has a magnetic closure on the back, which I love. It has a firm base as far as bags go. I mean, I know you could smash it, but I'm not gonna. And I think because the middle part is sewn to the bottom, you can't get from one side to the other by going through, that the structure is probably gonna hold pretty well especially because this is not an everyday bag. We have no slip pockets on this side at all. And I think I'm gonna leave that one sticker there to kind of protect the turn lock as it goes through the hole, because I think that that's really the only time that it's gonna get scratched is when it's going through that hole. So maybe that sticker will keep her nice and safe. So what do you think? Should I try it on? I'm thinking that I need to put the strap behind the handle so it tips forward. So this strap is of course non-adjustable and you can see that on my five foot eight frame, it does rest a little bit high, but I like my bags that are crossbody to be high. And so I find that comfortable. You could also wear it as a long shoulder bag, but I probably won't do that. And then the next option is that you could just use the chain. And I'm wondering with the chain, if I can double it just like I doubled it on the pink bag to make it into a shoulder bag and how that will fit under my arm with the handle being the way it is. So I figured we would check that out together real quick. The chain is just the same as the one I got with my other bag. You just basically meet the two open bits together and twist a little bit and it comes apart like magic. But I'm not having a magical moment at this moment because I'm not, it's not working. Oh gosh, why can I not get it to work right now? That's crazy. Okay, it is apart now. Now you could, I think, no you can't because this this ring here is fixed, it doesn't open. So the only way to hook this together is to run the chain through the holes and then hook them in the middle. So you can see I have it hooked there in the middle. Here is long shoulder with the chain. So I'm thinking that the chain is longer than the strap. Yes, it is. It does hit me lower when I wear it crossbody. So I think I might like the chain better than the strap. I also, don't mind that the studs aren't up on my body. I haven't ever really loved the look of having the spikes on any of the Valentino bags that have straps with spikes on them. So I'm kind of digging that look of the chain. So let's do it like this. If you go ahead and you push it back just a little bit, the handle does not get in the way. If you wanted to have the handle up, I guess you could hold it closer to your body that way. It's not all up in my armpit, but it does want to flop down. So you would have to constantly put it back up and you certainly cannot flip it back behind the bag. You can let it lay like that. You could let it lay behind the bag, but then it's going to be in your personal space poking you. So this is the way that it's going to rest just like that. And then if you, have the bag sitting prettily on your shelf, you would probably drape the chain over the back and then maybe just lean the handle back like so, so you don't end up with indentations right here that stick around. So I love this shade of blue. This is the shade of blue that I have been looking for for my kids' school blue color. I don't know if I'll carry a bag with spikes on it to basketball games, but this is a stunning, stunning bag. And this is about, oh, 
This is about four coach bags or four Marc Jacobs bags worth of an investment, maybe five. And so that's how I've been able to, I guess, upgrade my collection a bit to these type bags. And I know, you know, that might not be for everybody and I am still buying coach bags. I just bought the Pillow Madison and I have this other bag that I was supposed to have today. And now Bloomingdale's is sending me a replacement since they sent me a Keith Herring canvas tote bag instead of my leather shoulder bag. <laughs> but I've got this one now and I don't know how you guys feel about me unboxing as much as I do. I like to share what I purchase with you and I hope you enjoy it if you are here watching. I unbox probably more than some people and less than others. I do spend more than I sell and I would say, you know, it's not a lot more than I sell but I spend a significant amount. Nothing like some of the other YouTubers out there, but I think that if you have the money and it brings you joy, you should do what you wanna do. And if you're shopping places like Fashion File or Rebag, you're basically getting these bags half price. This one was less than half the price. This one was pretty close to half price. It might've been like 45% off, I think. Both of them are excellent deals. This one even came with the tags and all those stickers on it, so you know it's never been used. So I don't know what your thoughts are on it. I think it'd be pretty boring if I never unboxed anything, but I did go through a period not too long ago where I just did a bunch of comparisons and closet tours, and we talked about the five bags that did this and the five bags that did that, and I'm probably gonna go into doing some of that again here in the near future, but I can't do either thing all the time. I like to have variety, you know, it's the spice of life. So let me know your thoughts on that. I will tell you I have one more Valentino on the way. I have a St. Laurent on the way, and then I have a coach on the way. And so I have three bags on the way to show you in the near future. And then I don't know what's going to happen. Brie Bag keeps having these amazing things that come out. And if their prices are as good as they are, I might sell a few more of my contemporary bags to snag up one of these type bags for two contemporary bags because I think that's pretty amazing and I think that these bags may hold their value better than those contemporary bags in the long run. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there, or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.